We want to demonstrate setting up the Abacus Eye adjusting software. Here we have two downloaded zip files. One is the or contains uh, the Abacus Eye setup files, which have the user licensee information, and the second contains Abacus Eye program files. We're going to unzip that. Just takes a second. This is for the Mac, but it's similar for a Windows installation. We then open up the folder, the Abacus Die folder. And we want to take the setup file, which is in this folder here. We're going to start with the uh, trial subscription setup file. The others represent subsequent license uh, intervals. We're going to copy it and paste it in the Abacus Die folder. As you see it shows up down here. Now we go to the Abacus Die uh, executable. This is what you want to use to open Abacus Die and not the main Abacus Die file down here. We double click on it. A word about this installation. We're installing an Abacus Die runtime version. Abacus Die is created as a FileMaker Pro solution. Uh, as such, it will run on FileMaker Pro and it is really recommended that it be run with FileMaker Pro because it gives some added functionality. In particular, it allows you to compile PDF reports uh, for uh, submission. The runtime version will allow you to do that, but you've got to, to do some... Uh, uh, you have to actually open it as a print file or and then uh, save it as, as a PDF, and that's a little more involved uh, in the long run, it's better off to use the FileMaker Pro version. In that case, you would open FileMaker Pro first, and from that, open uh, Abacus Eye FMP12, or you could just click on Abacus Eye FMP12 or a an alias, uh, and open the program that way. We double click on the Abacus Die um, application file and it tells us right here it's going to register it on my iMac. You want to make note of that. It's set up so that it can be registered on two computers, one iPad and an iPhone. So we click here, OK. You'll see up here that it indicates this is a trial license of Abacus Die. You're given a login uh, dialog which indicates that it has been set up in the name of the uh, registered user. In this case we've got a generic adjuster here is our user with this information. Uh, this is all entered by the setup file. When you open it the first time, it creates an account in the name of the licensee and uses a password of Abacus Die, which you can change now or later if you want to. We're going to change it later and just leave it, uh, leave it at Abacus Die. Click here. We now have the option of registering, uh, rather of uh, using it in the registered licensee's name, which will require the password the next time we log on, or we can open it, leave it in the default open position, which opens it without a password. So right now we're just going to indicate default. You can change it down here later. If you notice the re-login choice down here, it's set for default. We can change it to register. The next time we open it up, it will ask for the password. Or we leave it in default and it will open without the password.